On a gloomy Sunday, we drove out to a cemetery that holds the grave of Abraham Lincoln's grandfather. This cemetery is one of the oldest ones I've seen. Some of the grave sites date back all the way to the 1700s. This is Abraham Lincoln's grandfather's gravesite. And if you look off to the left, you'll see a marking in the ground. That is a Patriot grave marking by the Sons of the American Revolution. Abraham Lincoln's grandfather served as a captain during the American Revolutionary War. What was so neat to me was right next to his gravesite was another American Revolutionary War veteran. He also served as a captain during this time period. Behind the gravesites are ruins from an old church, but in this exact spot there used to be a cabin that Abraham Lincoln's grandfather lived and raised his children in. Right next to this cemetery was a very large yellow meadow. And what was so interesting to me was that a place like a cemetery could have something so pretty right next to it. If you notice on his headstone, the last name says Lincoln. There are people out there that argue that this was never his last name to begin with. When he purchased this land, documentation came along with it, and people believe, well there are some people that believe, that the clerk might have made a mistake when writing his name down, because anytime he signed or anytime anybody in his family signed paperwork, it was always with the last name Lincoln and not Linkhorn. So what did happen to Abraham's grandfather? Well, one day, they went outside the cabin, and Abraham Lincoln's grandfather took his three boys out to plant some corn. While they were working on their farm, they were attacked from the forest, and their father was killed in the process. They were attacked by Native Americans, and the location where their father was killed is the same area where his headstone resides today. Now, during this time period, there were disputes about whether the Native Americans still owned the land across the Ohio River. And because of this, there was constant battles between the Native Americans and the new settlers in that area. Years later, this story was told to Abraham Lincoln himself by his own father. And this is confirmed through one of the letters that he wrote to one of his relatives. Referring to his grandfather, he wrote, the story of his death by the Indians, and of Uncle Mordecai, then 14 years old, killing one of the Indians, is a legend more strongly than all others imprinted upon my mind and memory.